when will we meet your boyfriend? I got a lot of questions asking if we're waiting till marriage. What do you think are the biggest struggles about being a Christian on social media? Going into studying psychology, what were your expectations versus what was it actually like? Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I'm gonna do a Q&A today. The other day I was on Instagram and I was asking you guys what sort of videos you wanted to see from me because I just wanted to get an idea of what you guys like to see. And I was so shocked that a lot of you guys just said you wanted chatty videos, you wanted Q&As, you wanted faith related videos, you just kind of wanted me to sit and chat. And I was like, oh really? I would never have guessed that those were the types of videos that you guys want to see. And I'm sure not all of you want to see those, but since a lot of you said that, I thought, hey, why don't I just sit down, let you guys ask me some questions, and I'll answer them for you. I am going to try and answer the questions that were asked the most. And there are some pretty good ones in here. You guys wanted to know some stuff, so I'm gonna answer it. I actually got so many people asking me about my financial goals or my savings goals the year which I was interested in I didn't realize you would want to know that but my main one this year is to start saving for a new car I don't think I'll finish saving for a new car this year if I can that would be amazing but that is definitely something I'm working towards and other than that I am going to start saving for a house deposit that is also something that will take I'm sure like years and years and years and years to be able to actually save for I'm not earning any big money here so I'm really just trying to start this early so that one day I'll be able to have my own little home that will be actually mine and that I won't be renting because I'm already sick of renting and I've been renting for like three or four years so I would love to be able to own my own home so I thought it would just be smart to start saving now. I would have started saving earlier and I would recommend to you if you're even my age or younger or older whatever I really recommend to start saving for a house whatever age you are it doesn't matter if you're 14 or if you're 35 I don't think there's ever a time where it's too late or too early to start saving for a house if that's something that you want to do but I actually just finished saving for something that I've been saving for for two years now. And I'm really, really excited to explain it to you guys, but I can't explain it just yet. I will tell you guys about it when I can, but now that I've finished saving for that, I can start saving for new things, which is really fun. I swear every time I do a Q&A, half the questions, or like 50 to 60% of the questions, are all just about my boyfriend. And I get it because like, you don't really know much about him and you probably want to know about him, but I feel like I'm answering the same questions every Q&A, but here I am again, answering them again. So I'm just gonna do a little speed round, answering all the questions. How did I meet my boyfriend? We met in high school. When will we meet your boyfriend? He said he'll be in my videos once we get engaged. And when I say he'll be in my videos, I literally mean he'll be in them. It's not like we'll become a couple channel or I'll do couple vlogs, but he'll show his face in them, basically, if he feels like it. <laughs> when am I moving in with my boyfriend? We're not moving in together until we get married. I got a lot of questions asking if we're waiting till marriage and how we're waiting till marriage. And yes, we are. We have been for over three years now and we will continue to wait until we get married, whenever that will be. And when people ask how, I don't really know how to answer it. I guess in our experience, because we both decided together that we wanted to wait, it just became a lot easier off the bat because it was just never a question. It was never a possibility. It was never like, oh, maybe, because it was both of us saying, no, we're gonna wait. And that's just how it's always been. We also don't do sleepovers. We never share a bed together. We never even stay at each other's houses, even in separate rooms. I have a bunch of friends, a bunch of Christian friends who do do sleepovers and they'll just like stay in separate rooms or whatever. And that's fine if that works for them and their parents are happy with that, if they live with their parents or whatever they choose to do. But in my opinion, if we're gonna have to stay in separate rooms anyway, which is what we would do if we were to have a sleepover, then we both may as well just sleep in our own beds. We just find that the best option for us. It's always worked for us. It's always been that way. And once it becomes a habit, I think it becomes easier. We also just don't stay at home very much. So waiting is a lot easier when you're not in any sort of situation that could be a temptation. We don't just sit in bed and watch Netflix or sit on the couch and watch movies. We maybe watch a movie like once or twice a year, honestly, like we just don't watch movies. We're always out. We go on walks, we go on hikes, we go out for dinner, we go out for coffee or out for breakfast. Some of our favorite things are going to like the RSPCA and looking at the puppies or going on like a day trip to the beach or to a random town that we've never been to before and just exploring it. We just have a lot of fun and a lot of adventures and I am just so glad that we don't spend all of our weekends at home watching Netflix. It's just not something that we would like to do. I would just so much rather be out like exploring the world. So I just love our relationship. It's just 
fun. That was a really long-winded answer. But I also got a lot of questions saying, when are you getting married? When are you getting engaged? Are you getting married young? All those sort of things. I don't know when we're getting married. Like that's the thing about being the girl in the relationship is like I get proposed to, I'm not the one who proposes. Yes, we've talked about marriage. Yes, we've talked about engagement, all of those things. But I don't know when that's going to happen necessarily. We could be engaged tomorrow. We could be engaged in two years. I don't know, it's not up to me. By the way, I'm not gonna be engaged tomorrow, but like, you get you get what I mean. The next question is, who do you look up to the most? Hands down, easiest answer. My biggest role model is my mom. It always has been, I think it always will be. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I genuinely think she's an angel that just lives on this earth. I don't know how she can be a real human being. She just has the kindest and sweetest soul and has the biggest heart for Jesus. And that's all I want in this world. I just wanna love Jesus and love my family and love my friends and just be a light to the people around me and that's exactly what she is so she is my biggest inspiration biggest role model ever she's been through so so much I genuinely don't know how she's done it and how she's still standing so strong she has brought our family through so much as well she's a lot stronger than she looks and I really respect her for that. What do you think are the biggest struggles about being a Christian on social media? I thought this was such an interesting question. I think for me personally is like when you're a person on social media, whether you're Christian or not, everyone kind of thinks they have something to say or like thinks that their opinion is valid, even though they may have never met you and probably will never meet you in their whole life. And when you're a Christian, I feel like that kind of is amplified because you kind of set an expectation for yourself and let everyone else know that you have kind of set this expectation for yourself. And I think something that people don't realize is even though I'm a Christian and even though I try to live my life to certain standards, I'm still just a human being and I'm still an imperfect human being. I just never want to come across as hypocritical and I'm sure I probably have in the past and I'm sure I probably will again and I'm sorry if I have or if I ever do. It's never my intention. I'm trying my best to live my life the best way that I possibly can. But truth is, I'm just not a perfect person. I'm not Jesus, so I'm not perfect. But I am thankful that I have such a good community of subscribers who just seem to love and support me no matter what I do. So I just want to say that I love you guys and I'm thankful for you guys and I pray for you all the time, like every single day. And I just want you to know that I do stuff up and I'm not perfect and it's okay if you stuff up and if you're not perfect because we're all just doing this thing together. I also got asked, how do I save? I feel like I say this every Q&A as well, but like I need to do a whole separate video on like budgeting and saving money as a teenager slash young adult, whatever you want to call it. But if I was going to like give you one piece of advice, I would say create a savings account that's in a totally different bank. So for me, I had this savings goal over the past two years. So I'm with like a certain bank and then I went to another bank, opened one bank account there. And every time I got paid, I would transfer some money, just however much I could into this other savings account in this other bank. And I have never taken money out of that account ever because I knew that that was a savings account. And because I've never had like a debit card or anything attached to that account, I've never even really thought about spending it. And since when I opened my normal like banking app to see how much I have in my account, to see how much I can spend or whatever it might be, because I don't even see the money that's there that's in my savings account in the separate bank because it's in a totally different app, totally different bank, I almost don't even realize it's there. So if you're trying to save, I really recommend doing that. Have a totally different account in a totally different bank. So you can't even see it, you can't reach it, you can't access it until you actually want to spend it. Going into studying psychology, what were your expectations versus what was it actually like? I think I've said it a few times over the past couple of years, but studying psychology was just really not what I thought it was going to be. Going into it, I thought it would be a lot of kind of classes about counselling, about how to run therapy sessions, all about the different types of therapies, about communicating with clients, fixing their problems, basically all of the counselling sort of side of stuff. That's kind of what I envision psychology to be about and when I started psychology I just realized it's so much more than that so I'm not saying you don't get taught about the therapies I'm not saying you don't get taught how to counsel people because you do in some sense to some extent but I would say it's a lot less people focused than I originally thought I don't think people realize how much statistics is involved how much maths is involved how much neuroscience and reading and writing reports about things that you probably don't care about is involved like you just don't imagine those things when you go into it and that's like a really big bulk of what it is. If I were to continue doing psych to do like honors and to do masters, it would be a lot more about counseling because I could kind of niche into those sort of areas. 
but the general degree, like the bachelor's degree, is just kind of a bit of everything. But in saying that, it is so eye-opening to see what you can do with psychology. There are just so many pathways you can go down, so many kind of like niches that you can find yourself in. Whether you want to become a research psychologist and sit in a lab and analyze data, or whether you want to become a developmental psychologist where you help kids develop in a way that will help them excel, or maybe you want to become a clinical psychologist, talk about people's problems all day, or you can work with like pregnant ladies. Like there are so many little kind of holes that you can find and just kind of invest all your time into and become a psychologist that relates to that specific subject. But it's just so broad that in your first three years of your degree, in your bachelor's degree, you're just gonna do a little bit of everything. So you get to do some of what you're interested in, but also a lot of what you're not interested in. And I just wasn't expecting to spend so much time on things that I didn't care about. But that's just how it works. At least in my experience at my university. I know that everyone's experience is different. I know that everyone's university is different, but that's just how it worked at my university. I also had so many people asking if Georgia and I are gonna get any pets. And guys, I'm really sorry, but at least I don't have any plans to. If we ever end up getting any pets, it'll be like, this is George's pet or this is Rachel's pet. We're not gonna get any pets together as such. And the last question I have is, what are you most excited about in 2020? And I do have some pretty exciting things coming in 2020. But I'm not going to tell you guys what they are because I'm an annoying YouTuber who doesn't tell you guys my secrets but tells you that I have secrets. So, I'm going to end off this video here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you received some answers to some questions that you may have had. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me. It's just at RachelCatherine998. That's where I ask you guys for questions when I'm going to film these videos. And I'm also pretty active on there so if you have any questions, you can either leave them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram and I'll try my best to get back to you. But other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.